explore one of the many zones of Elder Scrolls Online, the Clockwork City, and check out the 10 secrets you likely missed while there, the mechanical realm of Sothisil. This is aimed for those who have completed the content and may have missed things, so spoilers ahead. Number 10, unlock all the dailies from Delves to Quests. If you're looking to obtain the awesome motifs, Apostle Style and Evan Shadow Style, you'll have to explore and do side quests. There are a total of four factions that grant you quests, but only after you've completed entry-level steps. They are as follows. Blackfeather Court Tributes, unlock by finishing the main quest for the crows and then go around pickpocketing and looting random things. Brass Fortress Resupplying, gain access to the Brass Fortress and go to Slagtown to begin unlocking these. Clockwork Facilitator Contracts, gain access to the Brass Fortress to unlock these. Clockwork Apostles, find and complete quests for the Shadow Cleft and the Halls of Regulation. Number 9, Factotums as Merchant Assistants. As you walk towards the restricted Brassworks, you'll go by the Factotum that is driving its merchant owner crazy with its wrong replies and reactions. Besides being pretty hilarious, it's one of the first hints of Daedric influence within the Brass Fortress. Things get so bad that Assistant Xanon comes to try to help too. 8. Casual Trip to Oblivion Find the Shadow Cleft, a dell that is actually not within the Clockwork City, but rather taking you to Nocturnal's Realm of Everglow. There are actually two locations where this happens, once here, and once for the world boss, Eggarch's Egress. Number 7. Build Yourself a Dummy A special quest called the Precursor initiates a hidden treasure hunt across all of Tamriel that results in the achievement and trophy Precursor Maker. You must find Associate Xanon or pick it up from the notice board by the Basilica. Follow the steps and you'll eventually have to visit a variety of Dwemer runes across Tamriel to gather all of the parts. It turns out the Apostles are not impressed by the construct, so Xanon gifts it to you instead. Bonus, you can get one of these per character you have. Number 6. Understand Sothisil's Memories When you visit the mnemonic planisphere, a lore book called The Memories of Sothisil explains the reasoning behind the construction. You can then walk around and listen to what the stars say. Sometimes you'll hear Sothisil himself, whilst other times you can hear Sothisil's mother in the warrior's wing, Sothisil's sister in the warrior's wing, the astronomer in the mage's ring, and Divith Fear in the mage's wing, and the precursor on the upper portions. If you are wondering why Sothisil decided on this, here is the hint. Number 5. Get yourself a skeleton key. This particular Daedric artifact has seen its share of action in the Elder Scrolls world. In fact, it's not a creation for the specific storyline, but a recurring object from Morrowind, Oblivion, and even Skyrim. Thus, Sothisil charging Diva Fear with safekeeping of the key is history in Elder Scrolls. You can acquire a housing item called Skeleton Key Replica that looks exactly like the real thing. Obtain it from the Brass Fortress by talking to the Achievement Furnisher after you've completed the Burden of Knowledge. It costs 7,500 gold. Pretty cool, right? Number 4, the Feather Court's Encore. The Feather Court is also a returning theme, this time from a group delve that you may or not have completed in Stone Falls. The Crows address you as such if they know you, as you must have befriended their cousin tribe at Crows Wood to complete its quest. Number 3, Pests in the Clockwork City. Whilst doing the main quest, Lost in the Gloam, you'll talk to Constable Dredos. If you follow the conversation options beyond what is required for the quest, you'll find one of the most amusing exchanges in the DLC. Number 2, Sothisil's Revelations. After finishing the main quest, you'll be asked to meet Sothisil at a shrine that he has built. Talk to him extensively at this location and you'll find insight into what he knows of what is to come. He explains he does not admit godhood and believes Vivek to be a benevolent liar as he is simply enjoying the ride. But he warns that Almalexia has dangerously fooled herself into belief in her own fantasies. This specific exchange is significant if you know that, later in the story of Elder Scrolls, Almalexia goes mad and murders Sothisil within the Clockwork City itself. Number 1. Prophecy of Your Death If you've completed all the quests, including the side quest Cogs of Fate, travel to the Grand Prognosticator and provide him with a passphrase that you've learned from your travels and quests. He will deliver clues of what's to come next for you and it sounds pretty gloomy, but hints that you are going to the Somerset Isles. You will earn the Fortune and Fate Achievement Trophy. And that concludes our tour of the Clockwork City. If you'd like one more thing to do, make sure to check out the Trial Asylum Sanctorium, as it's very accessible and normal. Be sure to also check out the Clockwork City Trophy and Achievement Guide, and also the list of Sky Shards and Quests. If you love secrets, be sure to watch our Grotwood Secrets video, or check out our SO Set Guides. 